Okay, room 237. This is a theory crafting documentary about Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. This movie is a bunch of people talking about different scenes from The Shining and how there are certain extrapolations one can make, and then taking said extrapolation you can find enough enough other individual things happen about the movie that actually make that extra that extrapolation make more sense. Like the movie is actually a a unique retelling of the white man's genocide to the Native Americans. Or of the Holocaust. You know, bits and pieces of things here and there are directly related to some of the Holocaust ideas by having Disney characters because Disney was very anti anti Semitic very early on. You know, how if there's a continuity error, is it actually an error, or is it instead some sort of really bizarre and well thought out, like, homage to different sorts of horror films? You know, to, to see in something here, and then the next scene that item no longer be in, is it actually, was it a mistake when they're doing the editing? Yeah. Was it a mistake that Kubrick saw, but he knew in his mind that he subconsciously had a mistake when he's doing the shooting? that leads to a much deeper understanding of what he was going through during the time. Yeah, this is a very, very heavy two hours. Even the point where someone's like, now this room has a window. The room can't have a window. And they'll then show you like a drawing of how the building is laid out. The different ideas of, this one's all about the over-sexualization of cultures. And the, the bits and pieces you see, if you freeze for this one frame right here, it looks like he's an elongated phallus. And it's like, Okay, if you watch this frame by frame by frame, like look here, you can see Stanley Kubrick's face in the clouds. If you look right here, you can tell in a slow transition that they have this person look like he's a giant inside a forest. Because the transition is so slow that it gives you those those different sorts of, you know, it's one scene to the next, but that transition is so long and the fade is so long, and it actually makes an additional set of sequences that you wouldn't really recognize unless you were really trying to look for them. It's just, it was a rough film to watch. It was two hours of people who, it was hard to tell if they're either geniuses or absolute madmen grasping at straws to try to find some sort of argument that fully backs up their ideals. But hard to tell if somebody saw something, then built the idea, then saw it, and then reinforced the idea while watching the movie, or if there actually is really something there, or if it's just a random set of coincidences that Stanley Kubrick himself probably just went, I want to do this, I think it looks nice in this shot, and said, I'm going to do this, because from this shot to this shot, I want someone to go, oh look, is that really a skier, or is it actually a minotaur, given the aspect of it's still a guy on the ski slopes, but they mentioned the ski in here is really horrible. Now on the other side, there's a guy riding a bull. See, see how one talks about the wild and free nature of man, the other one talks about you know, how man is constantly trying to control the wild passion of nature. So, so stuff like that for about two hours. If you're a huge fan of bizarre, over-the-top philosophical discussions about the world of cinema, interesting watch. If that does not interest you at all, or half of what I said in this video just makes no sense, you can skip this film entirely.